because when you said, like, I make sense, I make it up. <laughs> That's from the album, I think. Yeah, I think it is, too. Yeah, and it means I'm talking about make, your senses do make reality. Uh, our science and literacy uh, emphasize the match, matching over the last uh, 500 years. But we forgot the making uh, of, of sensory life, and primitive cultures, primitive cultures know that. And post literary cultures have made a big cult out of it, of retrieving it, like Terence McKenna, Tim Leary, Alan Watts, all the making, all the countercultures into uh, countering the science tendency towards matching. And so I make it up, doesn't mean I make up my life story, but I make it up as I'm responding to your input. Uh, you're making up responses to me. Exactly, yeah, yeah. My, my, my version of you is probably different than your own version of yourself. And yeah, vice that's, versa. That's, a, that's a given. And I try to get past that making and create a slight matching on some general principles, knowing the general principles don't apply, but try to bridge the hallucinating, natural hallucinating gap. That's what I do. That's why I'm a good listener. I listen to what the person, try to figure out what they're hallucinating on, and then try to adapt something to them so that they could feel that we are capable of connecting. So, Bob, what, what's underneath everything? Like, if you, if, outside of all the hallucinations, outside of everything, if, if you were to dig through the layers of, of reality, what, what, is there a base or is it just nothing there? Uh, there is nothing there, but it sure feels good. <laughs> <laughs> it's bliss. Bliss is what's underneath everything. Bliss. And you can call that, yeah, bliss. And that's what you experience when you die. You go straight to the bliss of the non-physical. And that's where we came from. So, if you mean what's underneath the memes of today, that's one level. If you want to go, what's underneath matter, that's what I mean when I say bliss. That's what's underneath matter, or underneath the physical, or surrounds the physical, or permeates it. That's the great news. That's what we all secretly know. But we come here to mix it up, to create contrast. You know, the non-physical can't create anything. Everything's there. It's bliss. Here we create a separateness. And then we, we make and we create. And what's interesting is that the non-physical, where we go when we transition, wants to interact more with our creating abilities right now. That's the major statement I'm making is when I hoik up the astral body archive of the four bodies.